Welcome once again to Treasures of the Torah. I'm Pastor Matt McEwen. This week, we are entering not only, as every week, a new Torah portion, but a new book of the Torah, the book of Bamidbar, or in English, we call it Numbers. This word, Bamidbar, means in the wilderness, and this is exactly what we are dealing with. In the first part of this Torah portion, the children of Israel are instructed to take a census. Now, this is the third census that they have uh, taken. It's the third time they've been counted since leaving Egypt. The first was when they left Egypt, and the second was after the sin of the golden calf. This counting is always interesting in the Bible. If you will remember, God was angry with King David when he counted his men. Well, why is this? Well, there's something to do with value going on here the value of human beings. When you count something, at least from a Hasidic perspective, when you count something, you are assessing its value. Well, what is the value of a human being? And so this is why usually when the people are counted, they they give something, they give a half shekel, for instance. And there are a couple reasons why they do this. Number one, in the end, you're not really counting people so much as you're counting coins that represent the people. And the other reason, of course, as we've discussed before, is if you have someone uh, be a half shekel, if that is what they put in, then it means that you cannot be alone and that it takes another person. You have to have another person with you to equal one shekel. And so it means that, that no person is an island. No, no one is totally isolated and alone. Now, when it says to take a census, well, the actual way that you say this in Hebrew, if you were to translate it literally into English, it means to raise the head, to raise the heads of the people. And according to Jewish tradition, there are a couple different ways that we can look at this. Number one, it can be said that when a child is born and God puts that soul into that child, that the head, if you will, of the soul remains in heaven with God. And the lower part of the soul is what is in that child for the rest of their life on earth. So that that head or the, the main part of the soul is with the Lord. It's in the heavenlies. That's one way to look at this, to raise the heads so that what you're trying to do is to, um, to affect that part of your soul that's in the, in the heavenly realms with the Lord by doing mitzvot, by trying to raise above our animalistic aspect while we're here on the earth. Another way to look at this of raising of the head is that in the wilderness, we need to look at this not only in the physical, they're physically in the wilderness, but they're also in a, in a place of spiritual desolation. All of us are in the wilderness in some aspect of our lives. And if we talk about raising the head, according to Jewish tradition, what we want to do is to attack something uh, that is negative in our spiritual life by rising above it. We have to attack it from above. And so what that means is we must be above it to look down on it and, and deal with it. And so in order to do that, we have to be raised. You have to raise the head. We have to raise above that, that spiritual condition so that we can properly deal with it. And this is exactly what the Jewish people had to do in their wanderings of the wilderness. Now, because of what happened with the bad report from the spies, which we'll get into at a, another time, they had to, of course, wander these 40 years in the wilderness. Sometimes there are consequences for us not dealing with what we need to deal with. Sometimes there are consequences for not rising above our spiritual state to get to that level where we can fight against and be victorious over our evil inclinations. That's what we need to do. In this desert of a world, in this desolate place sometimes, we have to rise above it. We have to raise our heads. We have to stand up and be counted for the Lord. I hope this has been a blessing to you this week. If you'd like to join the school where I study, you can go to shuvu.tv and join the largest messianic jewish yeshiva in the world 
Thank you so much for joining with me today. Shabbat Shalom.